So I've been on this mission looking at different computing devices. I did the iPad Pro experiment in which I just couldn't get used to that tight cover. I know it's slim, it's slender, but I started to long for a more tactile click. Now I have an extensive history with the MacBook products, but you know, that keyboard has changed a lot over the years. We're now using butterfly switches, which Will loves. If I wanted to find the ultimate laptop or typing experience. Clicky keys. Who should I look towards? And of course, Lenovo ThinkPad came into my head because I was like, man, I remember back in the day I had a T-Series with a real nice keyboard. I'm hoping that maybe this thing is the ultimate laptop typing experience. It's the X1 Carbon. It's thin, it's light, it competes directly with the MacBook Air. Of course, this is on the Windows side. This one, what's the spec? All right, do we have the spec here? We don't have the spec here. The one I have is the classic black version. We got the box in the box scenario. This is a nice looking box over here. All right. Ooh. Oh! Boom! See the elevate? Good night. Listen, shh, shh. Ah. Ooh, nice and thin. I don't know, Jack, am I switching to Windows? And night, night to MacBook time. Okay, that's pretty slim. Type-C connector as well on the power adapter. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. It's thin, it's light. Yes, there's actual carbon. We have a headphone jack, a USB. On the other side, Type-C. This is a networking breakout for a wired connection via the docking station. Another USB and a full-size HDMI out. Ooh. So different from the styling that we're seeing so commonly on laptops today. Military, utilitarian, get the job done, make the trade, do the deal. Business is getting done here. Let me give this a little taste. I see a little curvature to each key, cradling the fingertip. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a keyboard. There's keys on there, there's letters. You type them, you hit them. There is travel and the whole thing is super solid. There's no flex in the deck whatsoever. Since you're all business, you can cover the front facing camera. Very nice. You still have the little red touch point tracking surface there. Certain ThinkPad people, they love that thing. I never got used to it. I'm probably on a trackpad myself. Fingerprint scanners over here. Uh, it might be a little nicer to see it somewhere where you're gonna touch more frequently like the power switch. But anyhow, you have the fingerprint scanner there. Uh, let's go ahead and boot it up. A matte screen. It's somewhat anti-reflective when compared to the glossy stuff that we're used to seeing. Also happens to be touch screen. So you can reach up and tap away. Now, another thing I've always liked about ThinkPads, look at that, all the way down to there. Kirk was telling me he's at yoga the other day. What pose is that? Sleeping dog. It's a sleeping dog, you see? I know my yoga. Look at it when you hold it like that. Oh my God, it's slender. Super light. What is the weight of this, Will? 2.5, so lighter than a MacBook Air. So you're saving 0.25 pounds, quarter of a pound, quarter pounder. You're saving a quarter pounder. Maybe you want the quarter pounder. Maybe you need to carry this and a quarter pound. What is the screen size? This is also a bit bigger, right? 14 inch. So the MacBook's a 13 inch. This is a 14 inch, plus it's a quarter pound lighter. Okay, there, that's full brightness. I feel like I didn't show you before. If I'm at a Starbucks, I'm on this. You're like, that guy, he's probably doing something serious. You see the same guy, but he's got the MacBook. I, psh, forget about him. That guy, he's no trouble. You can listen to it to yourself. I mean, you can hear them, but they're not, they're not slapping you in the face. Now, an area I'm a little concerned is the speaker performance. Salute to speed. There's a McLaren logo. This is the latest one. What, Will? It's probably in your email. 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Sound is coming on the bottom here. There's two speakers that fire against the table. They're right there. Oh, you know what? I mean, it is better coming off the table. Oh, I just noticed the eye lights up on ThinkPad. That's a futuristic touch. This is like thin and light, ultra portable hacker. This is your Neo. It's the matrix, post-apocalyptic future. This thing's scuffed up a little bit. You slide it into like a bag that's beat up. This thing is so light. It's just, it's like a Frisbee. Will's MacBook Pro is a 15 inch laptop. 
It's like four and a half pounds. Bring that laptop over here, Will. Will, your favorite part of the day. Ah! This is powerful graphics card. Okay, like we understand. It's not a one-to-one -one comparison. Give, give her a shot. Yeah, it's pretty light. No, it's hold hold light. each one though. Hold I each mean, one though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, obviously this one's heavier. Yeah, so you're converting. Yeah. So you're converting over. You're done with this. I'll just throw this out for you. <laughs> Feels good though, right? Mm-hmm. Give the keys a little a little tinkle. Oh yeah. These are loud, hey? Yeah, that's what I like though. Oh. If you're in like a Starbucks, that's a little much. <laughs> well, if you type like that, I mean. But I'm doing the same here. But you know what though? Like what? the build quality for the keys is yeah. actually pretty good. It's the only way to test it. You press on the corner of the space bar. If okay. the whole thing, you know, kind of works with it, it yeah. kind of all presses down. That's how you know it's like a good design. Hmm. 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 Otis, don't do that, buddy. Hmm. I haven't exclusively used Windows on my laptop in a very long time. So what would you say, Willie Do, to the idea of me getting rid of the MacBook Air and just going X1 carbon for a bit? You don't think Windows is gonna do it for me? I think so. It does email, it does YouTube pretty well. You're trying to say I don't do very much? Huh? I'm into it, man. I'm looking to try more stuff out. That's I can go to Starbucks. I can be Neo. I can do the blue pill. I can do the red pill. <laughs> You're doing two pills? I do both pills. Let's yeah. tell them what the configurations are. You can get an FHD IPS anti-glare. You can get the same display with multi-touch. That's the one we have right here, but it's only 300 nits. Look at those nits, Jack. If you step all the way up to the HDR WQHD display, it gets glossy. You get Dolby Vision because of the HDR thing and you go up to 500 nits. Storage, 256 up to one terabyte. 16 gigs of RAM on all the versions. Up to an eighth generation Intel Core i7 8650U. That's 1.9 gigahertz up to 4.2 gigahertz turbo boost, okay? It starts at 1300. So the MacBook Air starts at 1200. This starts at 1300. They're orbiting in the same solar system. It's an interesting package. I feel like I'm having a bit of a throwback, a bit of laptop nostalgia going on, but in a modern form factor in terms of size and weight. But for now, I'm gonna start a little Windows experiment. Multi-touch, really nice keyboard. Mm -hmm. I'm going to touch this keyboard and I'm gonna see what happens. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Uh... 